Well, this year we have surveillance going on for ticks kind of across the state at multiple locations. Dr. Susan Paskowitz, the chair of the Department of Entomology at UW-Madison, has been studying deer tick populations in the state for better than 20 years. Back then, to find them in great numbers, you had to look in the Northwoods, but not anymore. There's no spot left where we've gone to look for them and haven't found them. With the spread of ticks come the spread of Lyme disease. 20 years ago, Dr. Paskowitz told her students about the four to 500 cases each year in the state. Now when I teach the class, it's 3,000 cases every year. And CDC for Lyme disease would estimate that that's an underestimate by quite a lot. It's probably closer to 30,000 cases in the state. So that's a, that's a large increase. Well, nowhere near as prevalent, another tick-borne disease, the Powassan virus, carries a serious health risk. So it's a rare disease. We don't see a lot of cases. Unfortunately, it is a disease that can often have pretty severe impacts. Um, you know, people die as a result of Powassan infection. It attacks the brain itself, causes inflammation and infection of the brain. Um, and because of that, um, patients who have had um, this viral encephalitis can have significant neurologic problems if they recover. Wisconsin and Minnesota have seen most of the Powassan cases in the country, with 20 confirmed cases here in the last decade. I don't think people need to be um, really fearful of, because it is so rare, but it's out there and it is one more reason for people to do those careful tick checks at the end of the day or, you know, try to uh, reduce your contact with them to begin with. At UW-Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3.